Hello viewers, welcome to UTP functional testing videos, myself Odai. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about low level recording mode in QTP. QTP supports three types of recording modes, normal recording mode, analog recording mode, which I have covered in my previous video. In this video, I am concentrating on low level recording mode. Alright, so what is the, what exactly is the low level recording mode? So there are some situations where you want to record or perform some operations on the application irrespective whether QTP is able to identify the object or not you want to record a script. So during those kind of situations where you will go for low level recording. Alright. So in this recording mode what will happen is in, in normal recording mode right. So what will happen is QTP can able to identify the object and where it will like you know for example if you are entering some value in a web edit what it will show the statement will be generated something like browser of page of web edit of whatever like you know if you set a value the set operation will be performed right but in low level recording mode even though for example say the objects are the objects in your applications are not identifiable by QTP but you want to perform or record the operation during those situations you will go for low level recording mode all right so that is my first point the second point is it records all objects as window or win object the parent level objects are recognized as window and the child objects are recognized as win objects all right so let me demonstrate you on that and we will go for the uh, third point use layer level recording where you have to perform operation on exact location on your application but for example say you might have some application in that application you want to perform that operation exactly in that location mean to uh, when i say exact location it is the x y coordinates with respect to the screen okay qtp records the operation on an object based on the x and y coordinates with respect to the screen so let me demonstrate you with sample application all right so what i would like to do here is i would like to perform some operation on gmail all right so for that what i am doing is i am recording some operation here all right so go to click on recording go to automation low level recording or you just click on the recording mode it's it, that is sufficient okay so what i am doing here is i am entering the url after that i am entering some text here my username and after that i am entering my password all right this is a sample username password i am entering here some random username and password after that i am clicking on sign in button so let's see how qtp is recorded this act operations as you can see it has recorded all the like you know uh, the entire operations has win object as uh, sorry window object and win object the parent level object is window the child level object is win object irrespective of whatever the like even you can put win object web object or you can it's a flash object oracle apps whatever it is if it is not recognized by qtp then it will generate with the window and win object all right as you can see all of these objects are like you know recognized with respect to this x and y coordinate so uh, before demonstrate that let me show you how this script will execute so before do that what i would like to do here is i want to put some weight statements all right mm. say some two after that i would like Two seconds okay let me execute the same thing and show you how it executes as you can see here it opens the url it waits for five seconds enter the username enter the password and click on sign in button right so for here the thing is these x y coordinates are important thing what does it mean is for example say if i move this application somewhere else right 
it cannot perform those operations as you can see i'm just resizing it somewhere and putting it here when i execute the same thing here now it won't work as it can see it didn't enter password there and didn't click the sign in button right so it, there is no guarantee that uh, when you record something in a low level recording mode it will work all the time right but use low level recording mode whenever it is necessary where you, like you know you want to perform the operation exactly at the same x y coordinate during those times you have to go for low level but the rest of the times you better record your script using normal recording mode all right so so i think i have covered everything use low level recording where you have to perform okay operation on the exact location on the screen and in the next okay so what happens is like with these window objects and uh, this window object right there are only very few methods available for window object what are the methods available are like activate maximize minimize restore click drag and drop type double click for win object these are the only methods available but you cannot create like you know uh, use any other methods available with this with these two types of object as you can see for the window object right you have the type method all right if it is a win object you can have click double click or type method or these are the only five methods that you can perform with that windows object all right and what else is left so these are the general guidelines for analog or low level recording means you use analog or low level recording when normal recording mode does not accurately record your application all right analog or low level recording mode requires more disk space the disk space than the normal recording mode so these are the general guidelines that you need to follow when you are working with the low level recording mode okay so that's all in this video thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you